Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the Waking Flame DLC. This time I brought my zoo as you can see. Magica Sorcerer is still one of the strongest, maybe the strongest Magica class. I'm still impressed by the easy rotation and the enormous DPS. Even my nephew, which is I think two years old, could probably use this rotation and could probably pass over 100k. After a couple of passes, I managed to get 109k plus DPS. Like in the previous patch, I used both pets, the familiar pet and the twilight pet, and a spammable crystal fragment. I used the same rotation and the same build like previous patch. I will link you the rotation explanation in the description below, check it out. Now enjoy the pass, afterwards I show you the build showcase.
here we are with the build, 5 Bazes Mania on the body, 1 Slime Core, and still the Harpooner's Wading Kilt as Mythic Item. 6 Light and 1 Medium, in raids you could probably go with 2 Medium and 5 Light, since they've changed the Light and the Medium passive, Medium Armor gives now Weapon and Spell damage, and instead of crit rate, crit damage. So pretty nice. On the jewelry and on the front bar, Sioria with two daggers, both imprecise. And on the back bar, what else? The Maelstrom Inferno stuff in Infused. Full Bloodthirsty on the jewelry, a shock damage glyph on the main hand and on the off hand a poison damage enchant. Back bar, like always, the Berserker Glyph for extra weapon damage. Alternative, instead of Bazes, you could still use Mother Sorrow or Medusa. It's still viable. If you don't have access to mythic items, you could go with uh, two Zahn or one Zahn, one Slime Core, that kind of stuff. If you don't have daggers of Zeroria, the Inferno stuff is almost the same. It's like 1 to 2k less DPS in static boss fights, so not a big deal. Quick look on the skills. I still use Mage Moth as Execute. Use it at 20% health. Then Dedic Prey. Crystal Fragment as spammable. Both pets, the Familiar Pet and the Twilight Pet. Shooting Star for extra Magicka region and Max Magicka. Back bar, Boundless Storm, our resistance buff and a pretty decent dot. Unstable Wall of Fire, Barb Trap with Medusa. You could deslot Barb Trap for, for example, a shield here. Then both pets again, we have to slot them on both bars. And on the back bar, one of these strongest single target ultimates, the Greater Storm Atonark, which also gives major berserk, so 10% extra damage done for one of the Synergy Taker. Race, still Khajiit, for the 12% extra crit damage. High Elf, Dunmore, should be also fine. Mundus, the Thief, for extra crit rate. And as buff food, the Ghastly Eyeball for Exo Region and Max Magica. If you don't have sustain issues, you could even go with the green Max Magica food. 64 points in Magica and as potions, the spare power potions with major sorcery, prophecy and Magica. Quick look on the blue CPs, Backstabber, Fighting Finesse, Daddy Aim and Master at Arms. If you can't flank the enemy, just slot uh, Taumaturge or even Wrathful Strikes instead of Backstabber. Red CPs, Boundless Vitality for max HP, Fortified for extra armor, Celerity for 10% extra movement, and Bastion to deal 15% more damage and it also increases our shield size by 15%. Here we are at the end of another PvE build video. Next one will be uploaded in one or two days. I will probably pass with the Magicka Knight build this time. If you like my work, don't forget to sub my channel. Over 80% are still sub. Do me the favor, click on this red juicy button and make me happy. I wish you all a fantastic summer, like always, and I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!